Tonight, a proposal to rezone a property on Cherokee Trail failed on first reading in Knoxville City Council. That proposal would have rezoned the property from a low density residential district to planned residential district, and that would have allowed up to 5.9 units to be built per acre. City leaders did pass a number of ordinances, including one that limits the sound level of noise on public property. Originally, the proposed ordinance banned the use of sound amplification on public property and right of ways. The council changed the wording instead of redistricting sound by or restricting sound by how it's produced. The ordinance restricts sound by how loud it can be. Really, the concern is the decibel level rather than how it's produced. So we had an existing ordinance that had the decibel levels referenced, and we kept those the same, clarified what those limits were, and, uh, and now it's, it's the level of sound that's produced rather than whether it's produced from an amplified source or a non-amplified source. As far as enforcement goes, police officers have decibel meters that measure just how loud the noise is. City leaders also approved two and a half million dollars for maintenance on the Sun Sphere and the World's Fair Park Amphitheater. Leaders say the main issue will be fixing an elevator inside the Sun Sphere. The United